All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I want to go ahead and answer this question the best way that I can possible. And I know that this particular topic right here stirs a lot of emotion. And I know the reason why it stirs a lot of emotion. That's because here in this Gnostic environment that we find ourselves in, uh, this very uneducational environment, meaning uh, that the system itself, uh, the religion and the country itself, America, has actually trained us uh, in their public food system and their churches the way that we ought to think. And when you start exercising self-autonomy, all it takes is just a little bit of investigation and you'll find out that you've been gamed and you've been had. And a lot of times when you're so passionate about certain things, it's only because it only it is only because, and this is the truth, because somebody else already told you what to believe, you chose to believe what they told you to believe, and you made your choices and your decisions based on that and that alone. Not that you were informed of yourself, not that you chose to understand and comprehend of yourself um, what the truth is, it's just that you chose it yourself. And when you make selective choices based on what somebody else has chose you, I mean told you, to make without doing your own independent research and your own investigation, um, you are in the process of being programmed just like when you buy a brand new computer and you uh, program it to your specifications. Um, now, with all that said, listen to me very closely. We live in a world, uh, a European, a Western society construct. Do you understand? You understand what it means? That means that the thoughts of this particular country uh, is totally different than the cults of, the thoughts of other countries. When I was in the military, you know, I had a, uh, an opportunity to travel and live overseas for about three years. And uh, I saw a different culture. I saw a different mindset. I saw a different perspective. I saw a different thought pattern. Um, I experienced every bit of it, every bit of that you could actually see from other cultures. I've been to quite a few countries and um, I, I've always been aware of my surroundings and environment. I pay a you know, strict attention uh, to people. And I know it's hard for many of us to think. It's hard for us to conceive in our mind that people think differently than we do here in America. And who told us that we actually think's right? I mean, who told us that your thoughts are right? Who told you that you actually think right? Um, have you even tried, tested, and proven to see if what you believe is right or if you thought right for yourself? Chances are you haven't. So with that said, um, believe it or not, um, and I said this during the debate, I am not changing the definition of marriage. I believe that marriage is one man and one woman. I believe that. It's just that I believe that a man has separate covenants with each woman. Now, just because I say that, does that mean that I practice that lifestyle for 30 something years, 33 years? No, it doesn't mean that. Um, but if I choose to practice that lifestyle, there's nothing unlawful about it, except with secular society. And even with secular society, the only thing that is unlawful is if I go out there and contract with the state meaning that I get multiple marriage license. That is when you commit bigamy. Other than that, when you're outside the scope of their jurisdiction, there you have broken no law. And that's what most of you are concerned with. Um, and when it comes to the Bible, it's irrefutable. I asked uh, the guy right across from me over 18 times to show me just one law that condemns, just one, one law of condemnation or even calling it sin in the whole entire Bible, especially in the Torah, and I got no answers. If you can stomach the uh, that so-called debate, I don't think it was a debate. I think it was more or less of a person having deep um, hatred and deep-seated uh, jealousy and envy towards me and use it as a, a form to attack me with whatever it was that was in his wicked heart. Uh, and 99.9% uh, .9 of it is all bearing false witness. But that's his choice, that's his decision, that's his prerogative, you have to make the choice. But I, I have said, and I've stood on this and going to continue to keep standing on this. I've investigated this. I've looked at this thing. And, um, and straightway is a refuge. We are a refuge of people who choose to uh, practice a biblical lifestyle. Every single one of them that I met, I met two or three families there at the meeting 
uh, that were involved in polygyny. And they had wonderful spirits, some of the most beautiful spirits that I have ever seen in set apart churches, uh, so-called camps, churches, um, uh, messianic groups. I have never seen uh, any spirit radiated from the men as well as the women uh, of um, holiness and set apartness like I have from them. And it's just a fact. But not only that, I told him, I said, hey, y'all don't have to sit up there and hide in the background uh, uh, because you don't have any churches that will accept you. Uh, you come on up the straightway. You can become a part of the ministry of straightway. And we have open arms and we accept monolygamy as well as polygyny. We do not accept polyandry. We do not accept homosexuality. We accept all biblical forms of marriage. And that's it. That's it. And so don't tell me that I'm evil and I'm wrong because I go against the culture that is up here. There's no condemnation. And I challenge anyone, again, show me one law in the whole entire Bible, not your opinion, one law. And those of you who think that you know what 1 Timothy 5 and 1 Timothy 3 and Titus says about the husband of one wife, go back and look behind that word one and see what it says. Or uh, let every man have his own wife. Go back and look up behind that word own over in 1 Corinthians 7, educate yourself. Uh, because I tell you what, I found a community of beautiful people. No, I'm not Mormon, never will be Mormon. I don't agree with child brides. I, I agree with consenting adults making their own choices in life, as long, in life as long as they are with the law or what the Bible says or the instructions of what the scripture says. And with that said, I hope I said something to be able to at least hopefully put some of your people's mind at ease. But these people are not criminals. These people are not evil. Uh, they're not sinners. They're not practicing adultery or fornication. As a matter of fact, if anything, they're more lawful than many of you who went and got a marriage license with the state. You entered into a third party contractual agreement. You entered into a, a, a polygynous relationship with the state, no matter what state you got married by ignorantly and not even knowing it and you know you have no power and no jurisdiction over your marriage because if something went awry and you chose to dissolve that marriage you have no power to do it on your own you have to go to the authority that granted you the power and that is the state in other words you can't get divorced without the permission of the state now think about that for a second and really consider what i say have a wonderful day